Hi everyone, I'm Ollie Neitzel. If you watched my quarterly real estate market update video last month, you'll probably remember that for the first time this year, we entered a balanced market for all property types in Greater Vancouver. So, did the trend continue for October? And what's happening with the benchmark price? Let's find out. This time last year wasn't looking very good for the real estate market in Greater Vancouver. Inventory was up and sales were down. The perfect recipe for a buyer's market. Fast forward one year later and you can see there has been a big improvement. Sales are up by 46%, inventory is down by 13%, and months of inventory is way down to 4.3 and sitting in a balanced market for all property types. The benchmark price has fallen, however, $68,000. Now let's compare September to October. October experienced the highest amount of sales so far for this year. They are up 23% from September and inventory is down 13%. But here's the number we really wanna keep an eye on, months of inventory. Because of the increased sales in October, months of inventory is way down to 4.3. And for the second straight month, sitting comfortably in a balanced market for all property types. Now take a look at this. For the first time this year, the benchmark price is up for all property types in Greater Vancouver. It's only up by a couple grand, but it's nice to see that things could finally start to be leveling off. Now let's break this down by property type because there's a, first, a few firsts here for 2019 too. For the first time this year, detached homes have finally fallen into a balanced market. Finally. But take a look at condos and townhouses. They've actually inched their way into a seller's market. That's right, a seller's market. Now, before you get all excited, you need to keep a couple things in mind. One. These numbers have to be sustained for a number of months before detached homes shift into a balanced market and condos and townhouses shift into a seller's market. Two, all these numbers look amazing from this time last year. But keep in mind, last year was one of the worst years the market had seen in 10 years. And these numbers that we're experiencing today are more in line with what the historical averages are. So it's pretty clear to see that the market is looking a lot more stable than it did this time last year. So buyers, if you've been playing the waiting game, it might be finally time to start having a look around. And sellers, you can rest a little easier knowing that if you properly price your home and have the proper representation, you'll be able to have a little bit more consistent activity. And to find out what's happening in your area, contact me directly today. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you next time.